Welcome to your weekly US news update. And we have three stories for you this week. The first one is kind of a long one. I want to talk about four new drones. Uh, there's a woman that stopped a drone from peeping inside of our house, and then a teen who saved two people using a drone. That's a good story. Let's get to it. All right, for your first story, I want to take a look at four new release or upcoming drones. And let's first get started with Autel. Uh, Autel recently at a conference in Houston uh, previewed two of their new platforms. Uh, we talked about the first one a few weeks ago, the Autel Alpha. Uh, not many specs available just yet, but it appears that it's a much larger version of the Autel Max, uh, possibly even larger than a Matrice 30 based on the pictures that we've seen. Uh, it's expected to have 45 minute battery, 12 mile transmission system, IP50 rating, the usual 365 obstacle avoidance system that we've seen on other Autel drones, and in a max speed of 45 miles per hour. As far as the payload, we see that it is equipped with a 50 megapixel wide angle camera, also a 4K 25X camera, and then a 640 by 512 thermal camera. And then based on the picture, I couldn't find any specs on that, but it looks like there is a laser, laser range finder, uh, which is basically uh, looks very much like the one on the Max. Not a whole lot of specs available for the Hotel Titan, which is the other one that I want to talk about, uh, but it's expected to have a 24 pound payload and then a 60 minute battery. It looks like it's kind of like a delivery drone. Uh, it has a box underneath it. I don't know if that's part of the payload or if it's just something that uh, the user added, but uh, we'll let you know when we hear more about these two. Uh, now also let's talk about the Air 3, which was rumored to be released this week. <laughs> As I mentioned last week, uh, it seems to be a little bit off and it didn't happen. So that was one of the bad rumors that happen sometimes. But we're starting to see a lot more leaked pictures, which tells me that now we're getting closer to the release, uh, including one of the pictures showing a dual camera setup, uh, presumably a wide and a zoom lens. And then it also appears that it has obstacle avoidance system, pretty similar to what we've seen on the Mavic 3 series. Uh, the pricing was also leaked this week. Uh, it looked like uh, a fly more combo that has the new smart controller, which is a RC2, uh, which would be the gray one, the gray controller that has the, the screen in it. That combo would be $1,419. And there's also a cheaper version with the RCN2, which is just a gray controller that doesn't have a screen, and that would be $1,235. Uh, I know you'll ask if that uh, controller is compatible with older model. I don't know yet. Uh, we'll see when, uh, when that comes out. This is actually the first time that I hear about the new RC model. We knew the RCN2 model was coming out, but not the new RC2. So that's kind of exciting. Although the RC is not really that old, uh, but it'll be interesting to see what they've changed in there. Uh, and also, if you don't have enough, with the DJI rumors. There's another rumor now with a potential DJI Mini 4. Uh, some leaked pictures that are pretty blurry at this stage, but it looks like basically a Mini 3 with taller front legs. Uh, if that's the case, it's a great design modification, I think. Uh, something that we mentioned during our initial review of the Mini 3. We actually even printed little extension legs for ours, so it was a little bit more stable. So uh, hopefully that's what it means. So now let's talk about the second story. Uh, this is kind of a weird one, a don't be that guy situation, but a woman noticed that there was a drone outside her window while she was showering. Uh, that was in Rhode Island. Uh, she heard a, buzz, a buzzing noise and then she thought that it was coming from the pool. But uh, upon investigating, she found out that there was a drone hovering outside her window. And I know we hear these stories sometimes and sometimes they're true, sometimes they're not. But she approached the drone, uh, it flew back and it actually crashed into a tree and it fell to the ground. Or she was able to catch it and then put it in the pool uh, to disable the drone. And then she turned it over to the police and then they found out that it belonged to a convicted sex offender. So um, again, I don't like to talk about these kind of stories, but they do happen out there. Uh, so make sure that, uh, well, don't be that guy, right? We talked about this uh, quite a bit on this show. All right, and for the last story, this is a good one, Drones for Good. 18-year-old uh, Josh Log uh, was flying his drone for recreational purposes, and then he noticed that there was a car inside of a sinkhole. Uh, initially, the teenager was looking for a wash uh, that happened, this is in Colorado, and then that wash uh, is normally dry, now had turned into a river, and uh, Josh and his family noticed that there was a car inside of that uh, that sinkhole. And so they went and investigated to see what was going on. Upon arriving, the family heard that uh, there were two people talking. They were actually trapped inside the car and the car was nearly submerged in the water. And so the first responders arrived quickly and then uh, they used Josh's truck to pull the, the car out of the water. 
The couple in the car was transported to the hospital. They had some uh, serious injuries and uh, we're glad to see a good use of drones. So Josh, congrats on uh, on doing that and uh, saving, probably saving two, pe two people's life right here. So that's it. That's all we have. We'll see you on Monday. We have live Q&A. Make sure you show up on this channel. Uh, we answer as many questions as possible within an hour, which is always a ton of fun. So we'll see you then and have a great weekend. I want to start succession. I, I do too. I just hope I get into it because the, the topic doesn't necessarily interest me all that much. Uh, clap, clap, clap.